on everybody welcome back today guys to the channel back here today for another forza monthly really excited for this one hopefully we have some brand new gameplay for forza motorsport dropping today uh because they did tease it on their twitter this past week so i've been excited for this one huge thanks for coming around for today and of course don't forget to slap that like button yeah, I think I definitely uh, will be diving back into Forza Motorsport 7 very soon. Yeah, the Builders Cup uh, episode was fun. We actually looked at that, and, and, and I did a live reaction on that as well, too. If you guys missed really that, check that out. About. Seen some of the cards. I think we've, we've announced over 100 of the different cards that are coming to the game. Yeah, definitely quite um, a few. And one of the important things to note is, is you've probably seen that we are missing uh, some of the cars that we had in the past. Things like the limo or Better not be the G35. Uh, some of what we call oddball cars, the, the cars that are just not necessarily focused on motorsport. And, and that same same thing goes with our track list. I mean, that was uh, half the fun back the, in the, the day for Forza, list. right? Let's just pause this here quick. That was half the fun back in the day on Forza was actually bringing out whatever car you wanted on any track and drifting it with your friends or you know racing doing different style races one meg races and it didn't just There's have to be focus, motorsport the, uh, lore or focused vehicles right i don't know how past, i feel about that uh, they, they may come in afterwards but, okay, um, okay okay when we were launching the game we really want that uh, that to hit that specific focus for our tracks um now that's our cars and our tracks but uh you know that it, it also has affect our focus um in terms of other kind of motorsport areas and uh, so while we have things like um drag tires and even drift suspension in the game uh, one thing to know right. is because of this focus on um on our our circuit based racing um the modes the actual modes of drag and drift aren't really supported at launch what? so things like um the drift hud with drift scoring or the actual drag mode uh, they they just won't be seen at uh, on wow. day one. Wow! Of course, uh, we have a long That's way to go tough. after after uh, we That's get the game tough. out. So there's a lot of no stuff drifting, no drag racing time. HUD. But just so everyone's aware, this is what we're going to focus have the on that circuit drift suspension. Um, so uh, this also that that focus has really helped shape our physics and AI investments. And at the very end of this, just so everyone's kind of aware. Um, about how we're going to go through this. We're going to first look at our AI. We're going to then look at our tire stuff. Um, but at the very end of this, um, I'm going to jump on a wheel. Uh, Whoa. There's a wheel sitting right here next to me. Uh, and we're going to take a GT car around Kailami, um, just a hot lap. Uh, this isn't a race. I just kind of wanted to, to show some of the experience with you know the new tires, the new physics, and and how um, and, and as much as possible, kind of translate First wheel that game to play what today. it That's feels exciting. like. To yeah, let me set this up um, before we jump right into the video. Um, it, it, the video should speak for itself, but I, I do want to kind of let anyone under, ever understand like what this what you're about to see. So you're about to see a comparison video of um, our FM7 unbeatable AI and comparing it to the fastest AI that we have in the current game. And it's going to be with one of the faster cars in the game, so an LMP. Um, type of prototype car uh, on Maple Valley, so a shorter track, Maple Valley. a shorter layout. So I think that Forza Motorsport versus Forza Motorsport Seven so AI driving comparison. We got brand new Forza on the left. Look at the fog on the distance there. That's actually really cool. It's a lot to kind of take in here. I'm seeing new speedo, very similar track map there sorry track map timings now all on the left here that's interesting he's already coming down into the hill holy jeez oh this is a different section though look at the whole track layout completely different no oh no he's just not there yet that's unbeatable drive guitars on the right they're barely even moving Jeez. Yeah, these uh, are going to be pretty solid drivers that we go against here. We're like a minute three right now. He's still ripping around. Minute six. He's way back there. Wow. The new drive guitars blew the old ones right out of the water. Oh my goodness. 116.41, and he's still going. Tommy's gonna break hard on this too. No, okay. Jeez, <laughs> that's a big difference. 
13.2 seconds. That's wild. That is terrifying and humbling. <laughs> Should really give you a sense of just how much the AI has improved. Now, granted, yeah, it's one of the faster cars in the game. Um, and the time difference, of course, is going to be, I think, the most dramatic um, with faster cars, right? But I think it's a legitimate comparison. It, even a thousandth of a second is, is, is a long time. But two seconds, three seconds, a lap? That, that is, I mean, that's, that's a huge amount of time difference. We're talking, I think it was over 13 seconds difference um, between these two cars. Uh, so to, just to, to reiterate, um, we went from a single point of contact to eight points of contact in the new game. Oh, wow. We went from a okay. 60 hertz tire model refresh rate to a 360 hertz um, refresh rate. Wow. So, uh, and like I said, that, that makes it's 48 like a damn times TV, man. fidelity what? per tire. Um, of which everyone loves to meme, but that's that's the that's the math and that's how it works. And everyone's like, "That's great," but it just it, we need to see more. We need to see how it looks. We need to see how it feels. So obviously, um, when you get the game, you'll feel it and you'll understand the differences. But this is, I think, some of the best ways to show it. We're going to show how the single point of contact at 60 hertz uh, used to work, uh, and we'll we'll be we looking at a variety of, of video that kind of shows that. Um, and the tires will be invisible, and you can kind of kind of see the collision for the tire. And uh, I'll walk you some of the, through some of the finer points. So, oh, whoa, whoa, what is this? Um, I think we're starting here with uh, once again our single point of contact um, at sixty. So to hertz. launch the car right and, off the bat, um, you can see that the tire is kind of quickly and not smoothly going over this very smooth curb. It, it, it basically is up really yeah. roughly, and it has these kind of spikes and jumps. Um, as you can okay, see, that, I see it, that there, it kind yeah. of popped up real quick, um, popping down as well. So, and this is really low speed, right? This is just a a tire uh, at low speed going. Oh, this is Force of Seven they're showing. Okay, 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 that makes sense. The, the tire to, to really react rapidly and change quickly. Oh, okay. Um, I thought this was sped up gameplay and then it was being is, fast forward, but he's just driving system, at four. What you're okay, that's have why. Is a lot more of the suspension reacting violently and uh, causing the car to be really, really upset. Like bouncy, um, yeah. Okay, that makes and sense. I think some players who are be able, you know, they they are able to drive at speed. Um, what would sometimes randomly have the car kind of pop um, the Bach Mono uh, in FM7 um, because I'm going to do a direct comparison between the Bach Mono on the Gunaseka on this turn. Um, okay. And you can see how. Um, oh, geez. It yeah, messed right there, both of them. You get these real spikes and how, how the, the tire is moving up and down. It's, it's really just not smooth. It's not yeah. um, recognizing some of these smaller collision changes over the curb. It's very, very spiky and violent. Um, and this is slowed down dramatically from the actual speed. Um, this is, this is uh, one of our, this is our physics uh, designer actually driving at speed, and then we just slow the, the, um, the footage down. Yeah, that whole this, rear end this idea pops of just up too how, with it. Um, so let's take a look at the new tire model. I think we have um, footage from that. Uh, so this is the same car. The wow, model, even looks damn better. Holy jeez. On Laguna Seca, but it's got the new tire model. It's got the eight points of contact. Um, it's also got uh, the 360 hertz. Okay, okay, rate. dip down. Um, and oh, generally wow. speaking here, you can see um, all of the eight different details. points all of, of different contact, points holy. Out. Uh, so what you're getting is the honest collision geometry here, the honest physics. Um, but you can also see just how much more grip and how much more smooth this new tire model handles um, this, this crazy uneven surface at speed. Once again, this is at speed, just really, really slowed down. Um, but all this talk about driving and the paper technicalities of, of what we're seeing. It makes me want to drive, uh, right? I'm sure you're probably ready to actually go for a spin <laughs> yourself. As is everybody watching, but you actually have brought your wheel rig today. And there's something specific you wanted to show us, I think. They brought a mobile yeah, wheel, um, let's so, go. Um, oh, let's go. A, a quick note. Um, so I'm going to be jumping on to the Logitech G920, um, and it's it's the wheel I mostly use at work, uh, just because we do know that this this specific wheel, the G920, is the most used wheel for the Forza player base. Um, so the majority of our players uh, that are using wheels, um, or most of our players that, that have a wheel are actually using this wheel. I'd like to know down um, below, what are you guys using for a wheel right now? Obviously, uh, feels Thrustmaster T818, I'm going to be using it on the next gen. As well. TSXW, uh, though, for the Xbox home, One, um, Forza Horizon on 5 on the we'll go into console wheel version. Support and all the wheel features, as well as just um, uh, what we're doing on Force Feedback and that sort of thing in a later Forza Monthly. 
what I wanted to do today was just jump on this wheel um, and drive around, drive around Kailami um, in a GT car and, um, and just kind of show you what it So this is going like. to be live? Now, I, I want to hedge my driving because it's, um, it's not very good. <laughs> I, I think, um, you know, this is going to be uh, potentially memed um, or no, it, it will definitely be memed. But more importantly, I, I think. I can't um, wait to see this. Uh, you know, I'm opening myself to a lot of criticism. I'm really not a good driver. Um, but uh, I like but it though. We'll, we'll we'll struggle through this, and we'll kind of see. I mean, a, test drive just did this. Novice on a wheel kind and of. And I think a lot of people really around, uh, gained a new appreciation for the game because of that. Because the game <laughs> well, developers we'll are opening up, and that's all that letting matters. us see it. Right? <laughs> we will uh, give right. you a moment to set that up. Um, and while we wait, let's give uh, everyone a reminder of where we're at in the show, because. There's still a lot more to come, we're right Damn. at the beginning. Uh, starting we really are with at the beginning. more okay. Forza Motorsport gameplay from Chris, which is coming up in just a second. We've just been talking about it. You can't miss it. Uh, then I'll send you over to Playground Games for a preview of the Summer Party Series update for Forza Horizon 5 Summer. with the wonderful Charlie. And after that, we've got Forza Sim Streamer. It's Cody B. He's going to be stopping by to introduce us to his channel. And then I'll be catching Cody up B. with Um And uh, we're going to be taking a couple hot laps around Kailami. Um, and uh, in terms of assist, I, I think I have the braking line on, so that's going to be there. Um, I don't have any other assist outside of no ABS. assist. So ABS oh, okay, is okay. On. No, no traction. traction. Control, no, um, no other types of respect, of, uh, Chris. There. Let's go. Um, it is manual, but uh, but not with clutch. Once again, GT car around. So he's actually doing this here. I'd love to see him um, actually. Oh yeah, this is playing on, on the X. wheel. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Pre-release development build, not final quality. Can you hear him shifting? I don't hear him shifting. Oh, this is actually Chris. Okay, okay. Kailami, I don't think I've ever actually driven on this yet. Chris Asaki, man, this must be so sick. A little bit uh, stressful too, you can see he's focused. First gear, probably not best to be in there. Yeah, shift it. Best laps at 204 for him. Let's see where we're coming up to. Big right hander inbound here, right? Let's do it. Yeah, break a little bit. Keep her going, Chris. Great. Big on the wheel. Power out. So we got a lot of things going on as we're driving, too. You can see there's a lot of timers clicking down, a lot of different sound effect noises. Segment score, great segment. 50 CXP. We got another clock countdown. I don't know how I feel about that ticking going on every single corner. It does show you that you are faster. This would be known as a safety lap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, just yeah, well, just one we'll one clean one, one, not necessarily, off. not necessarily driven in anger, but uh, <laughs> get one good quality time in. We go. At least he's on the track, though, right? He's holding. Yeah, that was a lot better. Doing better than 95% of the game devs that test their game out there. And he's on a wheel. Let's go. Got a lot of sun glare going on. Damn. Yeah, turn in, turn in. Nice, nice. Big shift. Yeah, turn. You should be in second gear for those, no? I feel like. Oh, there you go, Chris. Squirrely there. Cool. What do you get? What do there you get? There we go. Hey. Not bad, right? Respect. We did it well. Uh, and good, because we are almost out of time as well. <laughs> um, but I thought I'd just shut up and let you drive there. Let's you know, go. we can just experience it all together. I think that's the first time Forza's ever done that. Still, right? We have our feature multiplayer to get into. Uh, we're Car and track back. reveal. Um, free as play. As well as some of the other deeper Regulations, systems. Regulations, PC features. Uh, multiplayer. Yeah, this has been really cool today. Huge thank you for coming around once again uh, to take a look at the brand new Forza Motorsport. I will leave the Forza monthly stream down below in the comment section if you guys want to check that out. Huge there we go. thank you, Chris. And October the 10th as well uh, is launch and October can't wait for everyone to join us. Thank 10th. you, Chris, for so much Forza for joining Motorsport. us today and, and giving us the time. Um, I cannot wait to join you and our community on the starting line. We'll see you next time, hopefully. <laughs> Cheers. Right, so that was really cool. A little bit disappointing though that drag racing and drifting HUDs won't be implemented into the game, which means we probably won't have those hoppers uh, right off the start, right? So the game will be a work in progress, I feel like. It'll just keep updating as it goes, and that's probably what their new 
plan will be, considering it's just Forza Motorsport now. It's just probably going to be the last Forza Motorsport to drop, and it's just going to keep updating and updating and updating. At least that's my thoughts. Let me know yours down below. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.